Hi again, Marcy Davis here from Quick Start Piano, where adults learn by playing the music they love most. And today we've got another super easy songbook, Hit Songs. I love these books because they're very accessible to beginners. As soon as the beginners are finished, the first six week course that I have, they're ready to start playing some of these songs. They just need a little bit of guidance from me on fingering and help with the chords. These books have a right hand melody with the little alpha notes to help you figure out the notes. And then the left hand is all chords. So I will give you a peek at the table of contents here. You can also look this up online, of course. And then there is ordering information and then the ISBN on the other side. So I'm excited to show you this one. Let's take a look inside. All right, so Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. This is on page 40 of the super easy songbook hit songs. We're going to look at the right hand melody this time. And we're not going to talk as much about the left hand chords. I'll do that in a separate video. We'll start with the notes and I'll show you the notes just in case you don't have the book yet. And then after we go through the whole melody, we will talk a little bit about the rhythm. Okay, so we're going to start first with your second finger on G. And if you line up your fingers in a home base position, we're going to stay in that position for the whole first page. So we start off with the G and we're gonna stay on that G for a little bit. And then up to A, and then we're going to stretch your thumb down to E, and then back to G. So a lot of going back and forth between these notes. And if you're reading it off the book, um, this has to do with the rhythm. I would pay less attention to the rhythm if it's confusing and just sing the words in your head. You know how it goes. You'll be able to figure it out. So let's try this from the beginning. All right, the next part. You notice I switched positions really fast. So I've got G, C, 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 A, C, and then I put my third finger on C. And that is because we're about to go up higher and I want to have more fingers available. You could do it a different way. That's just the way that I worked it out. C, D. Stretch all the way down to E, G, A, 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 G, E, 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 G, A, 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 G, E. And now we're going to put your fourth finger on F. And you've made it all the way to the end. All right, so that is the basic melody with the different hand positions. Now let's talk a little bit about the rhythm. This song is written in six, eight, which means the eighth note gets one count instead of the quarter note getting one count, which is probably what you're used to. Um, you don't need to overthink this too much. Um, just remember that when you're in six, eight, not all notes are created equal. We actually have strong beat on one and four. So it feels more like two, one and a two and a. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, one and a two and a. And I suggest one and a two and is probably a little easier. You want to be feeling those two big beats. So I was emphasizing beats one and four, or the two beats, one and a two and a. 
Um, and if you want to play along with that, that will give you a little bit of practice. And if you want to make the left hand a little bit fancier to go together with the right, we'll uh, check that out in a different video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, if you have an idea or a request for a tutorial that you would like to see, maybe a favorite tune or a certain aspect of music that you would like to see demonstrated, drop me a note in the comments. I'll see what I can do.